Hello and Happy New Year. Welcome back to Game On, Bass Pro Shops Games Developer Corner for Bass Pro Shops The Hunt and Bass Pro Shops The Strike. I hope it's warm, warm where you are. Here in Minnesota, it's a little cold. It's in the teens. And actually, I have my coffee here ready and um, getting ready to go ice fishing myself this weekend. So I wanted to get this uh, video out to you. And this is the great thing about video games when you're it's cold outside or lakes are frozen over here in Minnesota, you can still go out and go fishing. And so today we're going to go after some muskie. So we're going after some big fish and also help you a little bit with the fish finder. Some people had some questions about uh, how, to, how to use the fish finder. So sit back, keep warm, get ready. Let's go after some big muskie. All right, we're starting on pre-fish. So we're on the pre-fish dock, as you can see here on the GPS by pushing the Z button. Where I want to take you to is actually close to the tournament dock. So what I like to do first is go to the tournament dock, get my bearings, and go from there. I've also brought up the fish finder. As you can hear it pings. I've turned off all of its sound effects, so you're just hearing what is happening um, from the fish finder. So we're pinging some fish as they're driving by, but here we are, we're getting close to the tournament dock. So I want to bring up the GPS again by pushing Z. So you'll see where we went. Went from the practice dock to the tournament dock. Marked it by pushing one on the Wii remote. And then I'm pretty much cutting straight off, taking straight off between the two islands and heading out toward the far shore. So now I'm using my fish finder again, and you notice I'm not picking up anything, but I usually find them along the shore. It changes it um, with the game. It's random at times when they're going to spawn, how many they're going to spawn. So I'm kind of cruising the shore trying to see if I can spot some fish. So there's one small fish. There's another one over there. But we're going after musky, so usually they ping bigger using the fish finder. And I'll keep going along in there. There's a big ping. So, as you can see, it's on the left-hand side of the boat. So what I want to do is fish off that left side. But first, I want to get my lure ready. I'm going to use a jerk bait. Um, as you can see, we can have a number of them. Well, actually, swim bait. I want to use swim bait. And I'm going to use the baby bass. And as you notice, I'm casting off to the left of the boat because that's where those fish were pinging. So I have it out there. I have that swim bait. It's moving natural in the water, like if you had a minnow, a live minnow on there. Um, and I saw one muskie there. Um, and I'm just slowly reeling it in through the weeds, hopefully, you know, attracting it with the lure. And uh, hopefully we'll get something. So oh, we had almost a strike there. It's circling the bait. It's coming back. And it's coming in on it. And I set the hook. Okay, right away is, you can see it's a big one because it goes red right away. Also, you're seeing it swimming very fast in circles and it's getting off while in deep red now. Um, so what I like to do when it's deep red, you need to stop reeling and you need to tip the Wii Remote in the pole forward. So that's going to release tension on the line. So I'm going to continue to, when it's red like this and fighting hard and jumping, you know, you want to stop reeling. You really want to stop reeling and put your tip down and let it run. So I'm trying to let it run here, but it broke. Um, so let's try again. Um, when it gets in that situation where it's just so red like that, it usually means it's a very large fish. It's tough um, to hang on to. You need a lot of patience of letting it run, letting it go. So let's try again. As you can see, here we got hit. Um, went red again. Um, we're seeing some other fish in that area, so I know I'm in a good location. It's jumping on me, so I gotta keep relaxed. Now I'm in this red situation that's telling me the line's tight. It's also kicking off a lot of that. You can see that disturbance in the water, that ripple around the fish. That means that fish has a lot of energy still. It's going red, so it still has a lot of energy. It's very hard to bring in. So I'm playing with it right now a lot. Just letting them run with the line. When it goes off red, 
I reel in as quick as I can to try to bring it in. As you can see, you can look on my distance. I'm not really gaining a lot on it. It's jumping back and forth to, you know, before it was 120, and back to almost 120 again. I'm only going back 10 feet back and forth. So this this is a fish does not want to give up. So I'm fighting away with him. He does not want to come into the boat here. With these bigger fish, when you're doing the muskie tournament, you need a lot of patience. You need, you know, the 17 pound test to make sure you have the high pound test on and a lot of patience. You want to wear that fish out, make that fish, you know, do most of the work for you. You don't want to, you know, fight it too much, um, jerk it in, you're going to, it's just going to break. So now you can notice by the screen that it's not giving out that ripple effects. The fish is not moving as much. So I'm pretty much able to bring this one in now. I still got to be careful. As you see, it's still going red. Um, we do have what we call second wind in, so that thing could break it. No, that, line. that, that one, one going, going in the highway. Well. So there we go. A nice 25 pounder. So there are some big ones along that shore. And what I want to do is show you again is see the fish finder. It's off to the left, so it's casting off to the left. Bring up the map again. I'm going to mark it so you can see it. So you remember it. Always remember it. It'll save that. It's across the shore. You want to use a visual. It's usually kind of, it's around that one single pine tree tall. Well, I hope those couple tips helped you find some muskie on Lake Oneida. And I also help um, explain a little bit about the fish finder and how to use it um, to help find the fish on the lake or any lake on there. So stay warm. Uh, I'm going to bring back some pictures from ice fishing this weekend and I'll post them on the site. I encourage you all to post yours on our Facebook site. So please like us on Facebook, like us on our website. So I'll put all the addresses below me here so you can go to them. Um, as I said, it's a cold winter right now. It's a perfect time to get a video game and turn up the fire and do some nice fishing even though it's cold outside. So go out, get Bass Pro Shops, the Strike Tournament Edition, or Bass Pro Shops, the Hunt Trophy Showdown. So this is Chip Peterson signing off. See you next week. Little teaser, we're going to actually show you where to catch snakes, the legendary northern pike next, next week. So see you next week. Bye-bye.